Everyone knows that ants are incredible hard workers. Everyone knows that ants are capable of lifting big weights and building beautiful anthills. But did you know that ants can even build entire cities? One of them was recently found. Where is it located? How the ants build it? And what's interesting about it? You're about to find out. In this episode, I'll tell you how the ants built a giant city. Let's go. City All of you have probably seen ant hills in person at least once. Yeah, I'm talking about these amazing nests of ants created from pieces of leaves, needles, twigs, and soil. At first glance, it may seem that this is just a pile of everything, but in fact, ant hills are a complex structure with passages and passageways. Ants work very long hours to create such elaborate structures. Some ant hills can stand for several years and some can even last for centuries. These are truly monumental structures that sometimes even reach the height of a human being. But still, ant hills no one can surprise anyone. But the whole city can easily surprise. In 2012, scientists discovered a spectacular underground city of ants in Brazil, which impresses and amazes with its scale. Scientists decided that it was necessary to assess these scales better and began to study the city. By the way, it was abandoned, so not a single insect was harmed during the study. For almost three days, this huge ant hill was poured with concrete, and it took several more weeks for the cement to set completely. It was necessary so as to not ruin the city and to see its entire infrastructure in detail. Even when the cement was just hardening, the scientists already had a sense of something great, and when the excavations began, their amazement was boundless. It turned out that the underground city went down 8 meters and extended 25 meters in each direction. In some places, the giant city was as deep as 26 meters, and the total area of the city was approximately 500 square meters. Scientists estimate that the ants dug up about 40 tons of soil to build the city. Even these figures are shocking, but that's not all. Ants Megalopolis was not just a soil being turned over, it was a full-fledged city, like our cities. It had roads, highways, tunnels, ventilation and air circulation systems, living quarters, large halls, storages, fields and much more. And all the details of the anthill were intelligently arranged and connected to each other. Researchers estimate that several million leafcutter ants could have lived in that metropolis. It's one of the largest ant colonies on the planet in history. Scientists were astounded by this fundamental structure. The head of the excavations, Professor Louis Forgey, said that in its gigantism and builder's effort, this structure could even compete with the Great Wall of China. Just imagine how epic that is. German City Another interesting ant city was found in Germany in Baden-Württemberg. To be more precise, it's not even a city but an entire ant state. The footage shows that this place stands out not by one large-scale structure but by hundreds and hundreds of anthills. The ant megalopolis state in Germany is populated by yellow meadow ants. They built all these structures. According to calculations, the total living mass of ants here reaches 145 kilograms per hectare. That's a very high population density, something extremely rare. Yellow meadow ants spend most of their lives underground breeding and milking aphids on plant roots for which they would build long tunnels around their nest. The total area of this ant metropolis is about four football fields and the weight of just visible on the surface ant slides here is more than 180 tons. Each year the ants here lift seven tons of soil per hectare to the surface. That is in some respects the German ant metropolis has surpassed even the Brazilian giant ant city. Let's return to Brazil to look at another amazing structure, or rather several structures at once. This time I'm talking about termite structures. Termites are also called white ants. Despite the name white ants, termites are not ants, but in many ways they're similar to them in lifestyle. So let's take a look at their structures, since the ones found in Brazil shocked the entire scientific community. About three years ago, a group of scientists discovered a huge area of regularly spaced and still inhabited hill-like termite mounds in northeastern Brazil. How huge was the area? You'd be surprised, but all the termite mounds cover an area the size of Great Britain. This is one of the largest structures ever built by insects. 
The termite mound complex can even be seen from space. Other figures are also astonishing. For example, the amount of excavated soil exceeds 10 cubic kilometers, the equivalent of 4,000 Egyptian pyramids. Speaking of the pyramids, the Brazilian termite complex is approximately the same age as the pyramids. Scientists believe that the complex is about 4,000 years old. Soil samples taken from the 11 structures showed that construction was carried out from 3,820 to 690 years ago. The area of the huge termite mound reaches 230,000 square kilometers, 200 million cone-shaped hills about 2.5 meters high and 9 meters in diameter are connected by a network of underground tunnels. Apparently, the insects have developed such a system in order to get food safely. According to scientists, the record-breaking termite mound complex is not evidence of termite competition but of their high level of self-organization. The same can be said about ants. You've already seen that by building giant structures and entire cities. They show high ability and collective organization. What else interesting things can be said about these little workers? Stay tuned to find out. Next, I'll share some interesting facts about ants that will surprise you. Colonies and Wars Ant colonies are amazing. They are not just groups of insects of a particular species, but a full-fledged collective consciousness. Ant colonies in cities are just a couple of proofs of this. In addition, scientists believe that certain ant colonies have already learned to grow different kinds of mushrooms, as well as breed aphids as livestock. But it's also interesting that ants even wage colony-to-colony -colony wars. Usually, wars are fought over territory. And it's not silly combat operations like a wall-on-wall -wall fight. Ants have tactics. As a rule, a colony puts the weakest ants on the front line leaving the most powerful and combative individuals in the rear. The colony that wins gets the territory. There are entire confrontations of huge ant colonies with each other, which is astounding. As part of such hostilities, ants can even take members of other ant species captive, forcing them to work for the good of their colony. In this respect, ants are no different from humans. We too work collectively, grow crops, raise animals, and wage wars. Captivity is a human phenomenon, too. Amount Scientists estimate that there are between 8,000 and 13,000 species of ants on Earth. That's a lot. For a comparison, there are about 9,500 reptile species, 400 shark species, and only about 40 feline species. Scientists believe that over tens of millions of years, only a small number of ants became extinct indicating that evolution has perfectly adapted these insects to survive. By the way, extinct species include Formicanae, giant ants with wingspan of 15 centimeters. Creepy. But far more interesting is the total amount. Scientists have calculated that there are about 10 quadrillion ants on Earth. That is, there are 130 times as many ants as there are people. According to the same calculations, ants account for about 15% of the biomass of all terrestrial fauna on our planet. These insects are teeming everywhere, but they spend most of their lives underground, which is why we don't see them too often. What we do see in the street are the females, at least mostly. It's these creatures which develop from fertilized eggs that roam the streets. The role of males in these insects is mostly limited to fertilizing females, so the ant colony needs them. Soon after they're born, they grow wings, mate, and then die. The common worker ant and soldier ants, which form the basis of any colony, are almost entirely females. Male ants are not very lucky at all. Sometimes they live only a few weeks. But an ant queen can live as long as 20 years. All this time, it's busy procreating. Weight It's long been known that ants are capable of dragging heavy objects. But what are their real abilities? The weight of the average ant is 1 to 2 milligrams, but it can lift objects weighing up to 50 milligrams. Scientists believe that abilities may vary from species to species, but some ants can lift objects that weigh 10 to 50 times their body weight. And the Asian weaver ant can even pull objects a hundred times heavier than its own weight. Interestingly, while humans rely on the strength of their back muscles to lift weights, ants use their powerful jaws to do so. Speaking of jaws, there's a genus of ants that has incredible jaws. So incredible, in fact, that the ant can fly up into the air just by sharply closing its jaws and pushing them off the ground. 
This is Odontomachus. It's also called the trap jaw ant, and it's no exaggeration. These ants are able to open their jaws 180 degrees, like a trap, and close them as a trap as fast and strong. The speed of closing the jaws of trap jaw ants reaches 230 kilometers per hour. No victim can escape from the jaws after such a capture. These ants also bite people, and it's unpleasant. The bite leaves a small wound on the human. Fortunately, wounds are not deep. That's all, guys. What surprised you most about ants? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.